Hello everyone, welcome to Growth Partners. In this video, we'll see how to import sales transactions from Excel to Tally. So a lot of our clients use different softwares for their sales which are given by their companies of which they are distributors of. And finally, they want to convert everything into Tally. They want to bring all the data into Tally for the GST return filing purposes or audit purposes. So now it's made easy by Tally. Uh, so Tally in its version 4.0 and beyond versions gives us the utility to import all the transactions from Excel to Tally. So in this video, we'll see how to import sales transactions from Excel to Tally. So before that, we'll have to export a template file in which we'll have to key in all the data. I'll show you how to export the template file. We have to go to import and here we have to click on transactions. Here you can see the sample Excel file. I'll click on this and here configure. So once you go to configure, it'll ask export sample file for. Once we click on this, it asks us which uh, transactions we want to import. So if you want to import all kinds of transaction, you can just click on all accounting vouchers or if you want to import only sales voucher, you can click on sales. So I've clicked on sales and then I'll come back and I'll click on export. So once it is exported, it will be saved in our uh, data and I have a pre-filled uh, data for us. I'll just show you how I filled it. So this is the template in which it opens and I've filled it for ease of reference, ease of use. So here we have to fill in all the details of what transactions we want to import. So I've given date here, then voucher type name, sales, voucher number I've given. And then here we have taken ledgers, so customer one and the credit ledger will be sales, the amount I've given and then debit and credit. So you can give item name and rate and all of that also in case you have all so, much, so many details to be uh, imported. And in case you don't have, you can just fill in what is required and you can save this. So here I'll just show you, we don't have any of the sales transaction at here. So you can see sales zero. We don't have any transactions here and now we'll try to import that file. I'll click on import, then I'll click on transactions. Here I'll click on Excel. So this is the file I want to import, sales file, accounting voucher, default template and I'll say and here we can see import data from row 2 to row 7. So row 1 was the headers which we don't want to import. So and so it's row 2 to row 7 and then import data from column. A to Q. So even though we have filled only uh, a four to five columns, still it will import all the columns, taking it as blank because that is how the tally reads the data. Now I'll click on import, and as you can see, with a key, just click of a button, import is successful. Let us go and try this, whether it's uh, see if it's imported. I'll go to display more reports, then I'll go to statistics. Sorry, statement of accounts. Then I'll go to statistics. Here we can see in sales we have three entries now. I'll open this. Yes, we've got all the three entries here 10,000, 5,000, and 15,000, like it was there in our. So here 10,000, 5,000, and 15,000. Customer 1, ABC Company, and National Traders. Voucher number is 100101102. As it is, we've, we've got it here. So this is how you import sales transaction and similarly you can import ledgers or stock item or any kind of transactions your bank entries can be imported and it's very useful for all of the clients who have been using different softwares for their sales and they want to pull all the data into tally at later point in time for GST returns or for uh, audit purposes. So uh, I guess this video is very very much in detail and still if you have any queries you could reach out to us in the uh, number given in the description box and our team will definitely guide you. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.